Historically undercounted, the U.S. Census kicks off next month in Ohio. The count means money and political power will be divvied up across the nation. But some populations end up undercounted. News 5's Frank Wiley shows us how some members of this community are teaming up to build a better land for all. Fading fear through barbershop tours. I am so excited to be doing the work for the census. Students at La Barberia Institute of Hair are being groomed to run businesses. Some people might not have a, the best background. Waverly Willis helps guide them along to ensure after graduation, everything lines up. But these days, he's teaching more than fading and coloring. They might have a warrant for their arrest or for some parking tickets. So they're under the impression that the government or the police are going to come and take them to jail. Willis is educating his class about the 2020 census and how to make sure more people are counted. In 2010, the black population was undercounted by about 2%. Sounds small, but that's about 800,000 people. Black children were undercounted by 4%. It's very informative. Waverly partnered with the census and the president's council to spread the word. When you know better, you do better. Erica C. Pinnock says participation is about the ability to be equal in decision making. People don't understand that the census data is used to be able to allocate dollars. And those dollars are have a direct impact on jobs and businesses that come to your communities schools. There are 135 students here. Each will depend on word of mouth to advertise, not only for themselves, but also the people they serve. We are pillars in our community. A lot of things that we say are valued by the people that we attract. Your children under five matter, students matter, transients matter, senior citizens matter, those incarcerated matter. The census tour will expand to other shops and salons, safe spaces with real talk.